Once I was down, down, but I'm not out. Caught up and lost, wandering, just wandering about. Didn't know the way or how I'm supposed to be. Looking for the answer, but it isn't clear to see. Then I found you, and you accepted me. The most important part of inner community is how much we care. We've really tried to change our focus from just being service deliverers instead to being really careful and thoughtful providers. We think it's important to look at the whole person. What I mean by that is looking at not just what's going on for them mentally, but also what's going on for them physically and what is happening in their life that's creating the challenges that would bring them in. This whole person approach to care, we think makes all the difference. We are a healthcare organization and we're a community health center and we're proud to be that. We really wanted to talk about um, the changes that we've gone through with intercommunity. We've started from the basement in a small church and in the basement in a hospital, um, treating people with mental illness and with substance abuse disorders, and really have uh, flourished into a large organization now that serves the greater Hartford region. After 40 years of providing substance abuse and mental health care, we had the experience to look at what was going on for the whole person. What we realized is that folks that were coming in were actually dying 25 years younger than the rest of the population. What that means is if you have a major mental illness, you die by the age of 57 on average. We knew that we couldn't tolerate continuing in that trend and we had to do something about it. We tried to partner with primary care providers throughout the community and we're really shocked by the fact that our clients were in general not the desired population for these primary care providers. They had issues with no-shows, they had issues with stigma. So we decided we care so much about them that we need to bring that service into our own agency. We have an annual budget of 22 million. We have approximately 325 staff that are located throughout our 10 different sites. It's a privilege to be here with you to tell you about who Intercommunity really is. We like to talk about the changes that we've gone through. Again, from being small, um, really grappling with folks uh, who experience stigma and discrimination against their illnesses. And that's something that we have fought and advocate for for many years and will continue to do so. We believe now that we're an organization that truly takes care of the whole person through our primary care, mental health services, and substance abuse. But for the most part, what's really so unique about intercommunity is that we are an organization of uh, hope and healing and recovery. We again have, have had started from small beginnings, so we do know what it's like to grow and to recover, to have mishaps and have great successes. And we thank everyone here with us that has done this work with us. Thank you for being here with us with Intercommunity, and thank you for all of your support and love and friendship that we have received from so many of you. We are here, we are strong, we will continue to provide the much needed services to all of the people that we care about in our communities, our family, our friends, our staff. We will continue to work together through all of these seasons of change. Even when they are dark, we will continue to struggle through and work towards the sunshine and the light that we all have come to and know and enjoy.